day, and what a good day it is indeed. A really, really, really good day for Minecraft. It's early in the morning, the sun's just rising. I've got a beautiful view of the street outside my window. I've got a nice cup of tea. Let me just take a sip of that tea. <clears throat> that is actually really freaking good. <laughs> um, before we start today's episode, I just want to thank you guys massively for the support on last week's episode. Actually, I can't even jump in this space. Well, I would be jumping for joy if I could actually jump. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the nice comments and all of that good jazz. So, just keep it up. Right, so I've actually planned out today's episode pretty thoroughly. I've got my little planning notebook. Right, so I've got some things planned out, some things I wanted to craft, like a shield and a full set of iron armor. And then I want to make an enchantment table... An iron pickaxe I really need to make, which I'm going to make right now. And I'm sorry about all the chicken noises. I can't really do anything about it. Can you imagine the mayhem if I were to let those chickens out? Like, I just break this and they would totally shoot out everywhere. It'd be kind of funny. Maybe at one point when I, like, have a nice farm or something... And like, and like the animals just run around inside like a enclosed area, then we could do exploding chicken days. Uh, um, as you can see, this chicken farm has been somewhat successful. I've got enough to last me a while. Uh, right, I'm getting totally sidetracked. Okay, so I've got my iron pick. I want to make a. Uh, an enchantment table and set up that enchanting station today uh, the next thing I really should have done in the first episode and I always forget to do and it's so helpful is to make a shield also I want to set up a uh, our first survival house today is I'm gonna make a full set of iron armor There we go, that's nice, suit up, yes, assure, I look beautiful. <laughs> uh, anyways, so the next thing, I was kind of busy off camera, between, and I found two sheep, and Zeti's Wundervan, I'm actually going to breed them with you guys right now, and I'm going to shear them, and I I wanted our first sleep to be on camera, like with you guys. And here's a fun challenge for today's episode. I'm not allowed to sleep until I make that survival house, until I finish the house and I have somewhere to actually sleep in. Also, when I was fighting a creeper the other night, um, it actually, uh, I was fighting a skeleton, then a creeper came up to me and the skeleton accidentally killed the creeper. And when a skeleton kills a creeper, you get a music disc. So that's pretty cool. I am going to actually go to the spot that I want to build at. Also, if you notice, I have a different texture pack on. And this one is a different one from the... Anyways, this is an awesome spot. I really like the... What the heck was that? Did you guys hear that? I don't know. I might just be going insane at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a really, really, really nice spot. I can imagine having like a, like a windmill up there and like a waterfall going down and then a little hut here. Or not, not a hut, but like an actual house. And I think this would be a great location for our starter home. Also, I want to bring you back for a quick segment. Speaking of rules, I I had 
a great idea for a rule for me for this series. I was thinking what I could do was try and have one different kind of food every single episode. So you've got your protein, you've got your chicken, you've got your um, carrots, and you've got a little bit of carbs with your bread. I think that's a pretty varied, balanced diet, and I think I'm going to try and munch on these three for this episode. That sounds good to me. Does it sound good to you? Huh, Zombert? This sword is about to break. Whoa. Hey, you've got some leather pants. And as the sun rises over this beautiful landscape, I'm sat here wishing this was a mega taiga biome. <laughs> But actually, the sunrise in this in this uh, texture pack is super beautiful. I really like all the clouds, and just the sun looks like a legit sun, or like the legit sun, because there's not more than one sun in our solar system. That's science. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get on with building because I waited out the night, just like I said I would. Ah! Wow, that was actually nice timing, Creeper. Jeez. So, I'm going to go for a pretty standard uh, house design. And I'm just going to kind of lay out, like, the foundations, so to speak. Even though, I mean, let's be real. There's freaking floating dirt. You don't really need actual foundations but i think it would look cool so right around right there and then i want there to be another entrance at this end of the house what i think i'll do i don't really have that many um blocks of dirt but what I'll do is cover this up. Trying to, I'm trying to make like a little extension on this side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I go one, two, three. So I place another block there. And you go one, ah, uh, no. It's cute, but it's very wrong. You know, I think this, this has some promise. I'm going to... Get rid of all this grass. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go for four. So that's two, three, four. I'm gonna switch out the food source as well, keeping to that rule. A beautiful cobblestone. And so, am I gonna go for a off-center door or a double door? I think I'm going to go for a, a dual door. <laughs> right? So I'm going to go for one block, um, a one block cobblestone foundation, and I'm going to be doing birch wood on the inside. I almost never use birch wood, but I feel like I should use it more often because with dark wood and like dark walls, it actually stands out and it looks really nice. It, nope. It's just gonna be one of those things, like the Nether portal. You can't turn off, you can't turn down the Nether portal. Do you know that? Ah, oh, God. I think that's really kind of annoying. Yeah. So we're just gonna have to deal with that noise for now. Um. And it's extremely just interrupting my recordings but whatever that's fine i'll deal with it there we go that's pretty simple that's like a, the simplest part of this build is that right there and i think i'm just gonna mark out the same two blocks on this end because what i want eventually is to have like a path going around and then i'm gonna transform this village eventually i don't know how soon that's gonna happen 
But like I talked about, um, this village would play really well into the plans I had for at least the first season of this series. Is I kind of want to do like a very vanilla, like classic Minecraft feeling build and like base all together. And I think that um, having a village in the mix would definitely make it feel like it's extremely like classic Minecraft and I love classic Minecraft. Even though there weren't that many features and it was kind of buggy all the time. It felt also really, 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 how do I say, like, nostalgic. That's the word I was looking for. Right. So, as you can see, I've made a few alterations. Um, those being, I moved these blocks, or the pillars, out so it's more of an actual framework because when I had these walls up with the pillars on the same level as the wall it just it looked way 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 too flat so I figured this would be a good option and then it's for a uniform on the inside and these openings in the walls are for a glass pane that's that's what those are for and then I saw this big wall and I'm imagining that I could have a nice staircase going up here just to a little second like floor that's going to have a balcony or just a straight up second floor and there I could have ooh and actually I should probably plan that out better then cuz all of this is even yikes Right, so in that case, I'm just trying to plan this out in my head. I think it would be better to move all of this over one, because then when I actually go to make the enchanting room above here on the second floor, it'll be um, centered, because right now it's a two block center, and that's not too great. <laughs> Um, okay, well, that's a little extra work, but that's fine. It's just super, really, really easy. Um, you guys let me right? So, uh, yeah, I'm getting shot at by a flipping skeleton. I don't know. Oh, there you are, skeleton. Die. There you go. <laughs> um... Um, I've seen some people do this on a building where they will put like quote unquote supports for these uh, for these uh, pillars on the outside. I I don't know if I really like that. No, no, no. Totally, totally no. Right. So after that little failed experiment, I am gonna start putting in these windows and as you can see i don't have the connected clear glass anymore because i thought it looked a little too modern and i want this series f to kind of feel like just classic minecraft i mean besides that that i can never get rid of okay so a bit of a progress update for you guys i put in the initial ceiling and so this is a space we're working with upstairs. Right over here is gonna be where the enchanting area is. Really it's called reading nooks or whatever. So I wanted to have that feeling. So I'm gonna lay down some carpet, uh, throw down an enchantment table when we get to that part of the episode and just kind of make it feel really, really cozy. So I'm gonna throw up this wall, glass here, or should, ow, ow, that, oh, that's not what I wanted to place. <laughs> uh, then I've got 
just like that and then i'll have the bookshelves of course probably like it would be there and not here because the bookshelves would be going up i don't know and then yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna throw up these walls and i'm gonna get like the beginnings of a roof on this place and i'll come back to finish the roof with you guys Alrighty, so i'm bringing you back and um sorry about that uh should have eaten before i started this shoot is priest almighty anyways i brought you back and i completed the outside of the roof decoration bits i want to do on the inside and if you come with me i already did one It'll kind of just, it kind of like, you can see the oak wood up there. It adds to the life of the house. And it's just a little support beam. Let me do it this way because I want to be able to see the support beams. I mean, they're not really support beams because obviously all this stuff can stay up on its own. But it looks better. Yeah, like that. That looks better. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm thinking to do one here and one here. And I'm going to do this one first. I might have to go break a couple of those uh, oak trees that I planted. It looks like I am going to, but it's great. Right. So uh, back, we got some, I think, yeah, yeah. So it's super, super simple. Easy to, to easy to install these. At the house, I would say the exterior and the interior design is done. So I think that warrants a sleep, which would be super nice right now. Oh, I went out of the wrong side. Dang it. Like I was saying... This warrants a sleep. And I'm gonna... I was thinking I should have my bedroom up here. But I think this will just be the reading nook. I think my bedroom will be here. Ta-da! Now my spawn is set. That's very nice. Also, what do you... Ooh, actually, actually, I've got some birch logs that I think would bring some nice, bright color to my room. I might make that, like, a totally separate room. Like, to be honest, I didn't make this with separate rooms in mind. To be honest, that's kind of all I actually need in a house, but... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna throw in a couple of things and on the other side of this cut This house should be fully furnished Cut Right always good to start off with a nice sleep <laughs> That's how I should start every clip. I'm not gonna make that another rule because that would be ridiculous um, So In the last clip we set up the support beams and I said I would set up or not set up rather like design the inside and i want to show you guys you kind of got a sneak peek of it in retrospect i probably should have started outside but what is in the past is in the past so as you can see i have a nice table and chairs i really wish there were legit chairs in minecraft i feel like that would just just to add some detail like imagine if you want to make a coffee shop and you could actually have chairs you can sit at That'd be really cool. But regardless, I made a little room here. It's got my bed. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep those chicken farms over there actually. Because I'm gonna be spending a lot more time around this area now. And those chicken farms are annoyingly loud. <laughs> um I made a little bit of a countertop. I was gonna put a chimney in, but the roof is very, very like cobblestone rich. So I figured it would probably look not that great with the chimney. Um, and this is just I'm using as my pretty much my chest. I don't have like a sorting idea yet. Eventually I will. But um, 
I've got some things there. That's all the functional stuff. And then if you go upstairs, this is supposed to be like the start of a reading nook. So I've got some carpet because you usually have carpet in in uh, in like a hallway. I might, in fact, just so it's symmetrical, add some fences here, even though they're not necessary at all. Just to kind of make it like one nice line. I don't know. You guys let me know. Does this bother you? Because there's like, it's not flush with this, but it's flush with that. Like, should I put fences here just to make it nice and symmetrical? I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, but then I've got two poppies. These are both poppies, even though they're different colors. With the texture pack, it randomly, or resource pack, sorry, I'm still, like, jeez, I can't. It's been so long since they were called texture packs, but I still call them texture packs for some reason. In the resource pack, they, uh, it'll randomize the textures. And this will be for enchanting stuff. And then I've got a nice little setup. I'll have a, like a, this will be like the reading nook, kind of. It'll look out over the lake, which I'm going to work on later. Not in this episode, but like later on in the series. Right, where was I? Yes. Um, so that's the house. I really, really, really like it. I like how it turned out. It's a little bit bigger than I first thought it would be. And... I'm gonna do something about these flat walls, not at this moment, but uh, in the future, probably like the beginning of the next episode, I'll probably do something about the walls. Oh yeah, I um, I set up like a, like a tri-tip roof. So there's one end of the house, the other like main structure of the house, and then this part, which I thought was nice. Anyways, that's all for me. And that's all I have time for today. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you liked it, then help a guy out and subscribe to his channel. And by his channel, I mean mine. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to know when I upload videos. And yeah, just keep up the awesome sport. Be awesome, guys. I'll see you later.